The Hebrew Concordance for the King James 1611 Bible is the James Strong's Concordance. It was published in 1830. Now, in it are 8,674 words of the Old Testament Hebrew and 5,624 words in the New Testament Greek. That gives us a mathematical formula. 864 in the Old Testament, remove 3,050, and that leaves us with 5624. Although the Old Testament is also manipulated, they, the translators, hide behind assumption, but we can go back and see what they have done. Most notable is Isaiah 1412, and the name Lucifer in the concordance is Morning Star. To fool the masses, it is Christ Revelation 2216. This is where the angel, Michael, the archangel, the angel of Jesus says, I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. This is why 33 degree Freemasons are told Christ is Lucifer. We now look at the cornerstones of the altar to the Lord and the Great Pyramid. The rejection of Yah, this the sacred name of Yahweh, is the height of the missing capstone. To support a massive capstone, there has to be four supports, and all must be identical from an engineering perspective, starting on the foundation line, reaching to the top layer. These cornerstones must be supported by the millions of low-grade yellow limestones within the body of the pyramid structure. Each cornerstone cemented together with the same known mortar seen in the existing alabaster remaining of the 144,000 alabaster stones and must be proportional to the base 36524.24. Therefore, each stone had a perimeter of one tenth, one hundredth actually, 365.2424 or 91.3106 pyramid inches per side. From these proportions, we can calculate and lay them out to number 202 per corner. Now, the area of 91.3106 inches per side, so you multiply it by each other, equals 57.9 square pyramid feet. That word in the Greek dictionary means to cast off, such as to be rejected, be refused, which is a reference, of course, to Psalms 118, verse 22. Reading, the stone which the builders refused is become the headstone of the corner. Now, it can be placed and has to be 366 British inches high, or 30.50 feet. In the Hebrew Old Testament concordance word total, count of 8,674, and the Greek New Testament word total of 5,624, there's a difference of 3,050 words, and that number is Yah in Hebrew, missing from the New Testament. Therefore, 3050 is the number Yah, which equals 3050 feet, 30.50 feet, or 366 British inches, which is 365.612 pyramid inches. Now, to prove the height of the capstone and Yah, we know that the key of David is January the 11th, 1944. We calculate the days from lunation zero, December 18th, 1922, and we have 7,694 days, or 21.06 years. There it is there, from lunation zero to the rebirth date of the Christ, which is the key to the house of David, the 11th of January, 1944, is 7694 days or 21.06 years. That number, 7694, is a queen. And in Hebrew, an angle 
as projecting, that is, by implication, a corner, column or corner stone. These are my four, or Yahweh's four wives, starting with the first, who was Eileen, that he married on April the 23rd, 1966. The second, then Pauline, he married for February 14th, 1987. His third wife, Michelle, she was Mary Magdalene. They married on May the 11th, 1997. And the fourth is myself, Janelle. I'm Martha Magdalene. May the 30th, 2008. All of us, the four of us, are the four cornerstones. On that date, on May the 30th, 2008, Yahweh was 64.38 years of age. And this, in Hebrew, feminine of 6434, means an angle by implication, a pinnacle, corner, from an unused root meaning to turn, an angle of a wall, corner. The 144,000 saints of Revelation, chapter 14, verses 3 and 4, must be the first to reject the Vatican Great Hall and its daughters, which are the Freemason Lucifer Occult churches, and move back to the outer line of 36,524.24 from the less 286.1 displacement factor line of 36,239.14. Here it is here. So this is the displacement factor here. They must move forward out to the um, fullness of the base of the pyramid. And there it is there. You always done a drawing here showing how the corners with the Saints moved out to join the corners out to the fullness of the full size base of 36524.24. Reiterating, the 144,000 saints are the first to reject the Vatican Great Hall and all of its daughters, which are the Freemason and Lucifer churches. And there's something like 34,000 Christian denominations out there in, in the world. Now, the problems that man faced, they all accelerated with Solomon, which became the basis for modern Freemasonry and Judaism, like a snake that slithered into every crevice of power until it's devoured all of the world. And there's a website there you can go to. These are some uh, illustrations. You, you can recognize symbology here, all of Freemasonry, starting with Solomon. You've got the Star of Ra, over here in the Star of Solomon. And uh, the Trinity with a beam of light causeway on the temple in Nashville, Tennessee. And the obelisk, of course, that we see all over the earth. Now, this is interesting. If you look here, this is a, 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 a person looking at the star, uh, which is sim it's a blazing star, it's the Ra symbol, and it's supposed to be of the, the tail of Pallades here. And then we have Orion to the south, and the degree of gazing from the person is 33 degrees, and uh, apparently that's the, the reasoning of their uh, 33 degrees. Now, Orion, of course, over here, is symbolic of the removing from the, the sheath the sword of the Lord. It's the Lord removing from his sheath his sword, the two-edged sword, which, of course, is uh, the words from his mouth, two edges being the words that he spoke the first time as Jesus and then the second time as the Father. Now, here we have the references here to Pallades and Orion from the oldest book of the Bible, Job 38.31. Canst thou bind the sweet influence of Pallades or loose the bands of Orion? Canst thou bring forth Maseroth in his season or canst thou guide Arcturus with his sons? Knowest thou the ordinances of heaven? Canst thou set the dominion thereof in the earth? This is a conversation that uh, Job was having with his two friends who were coming to uh, console him. In fact, they were upsetting him more than anything else. Now, Job is the oldest book of the Bible, and it's odd how it's not been placed first in a chronograph of age, um, but been replaced by the Jewish Torah, the first five books.